Right, come on, Mark. We've got to get this Christmas video done. <laughs> what on earth are you wearing? Well, I thought you said health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with a video. <laughs> Well, welcome to another Chris. Well, welcome to a Christmas special of Rider Cam TV. And as you can see, I've got Elf and Safety here, <laughs> and we're going to talk about our top ten things that you can buy your loved one or yourself for a stocking filler for Christmas. Give you some ideas if you've got somebody in your family that rides a bike. Perhaps you need ideas of what to get them. So continue watching. I'm a little bit self-conscious about wearing this hat. So if it falls over, can you tell me? I don't want I don't want my hat to fall down. Shall we tell him? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so the no, first one in our top ten is Mark's choice. It is. And it, what have you got for us, Mark? I've got thermal insoles. Now we got we haven't got bits to show you because obviously we'd have to buy them and it's not about us. And you, if you're watching this video and you're a subscriber, you're probably the wrong person to be watching it. However, what you need to do is put it on your TV on YouTube or just leave your computer lying around where your um, partner can have access to it and then they can see what you really want. Good but, man. thermal insoles. How many times do you go out on a bike and get really cold feet? No matter how much people say that their boots are thermal, waterproof, da 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 da. Okay, so buy them a nice set of thermal uh, insoles that just fit inside the boot and they'll fit nice and toasty. Yeah, and they're really comfy as well, aren't they? Does that move? No, it's not moved yet. Okay. <laughs> and all the links and descriptions, links will be down in the description and hopefully, while we're talking about the products that, we, that we're thinking about for our top 10, it will be on the screen somewhere. So, happy with your... Always happy, it's so unhappy. And we've managed to find on um, Amazon, $7.99, so they're not going to break the bank, but they might be a great gift for somebody. Oh, keep your feet healthy. Healthy! <laughs> <laughs> so, the next one in our top 10, everybody's got a helmet, or they should have a helmet. Everybody's got a helmet, and how do you clean your visor? <laughs> for your bike, for your bike. Everybody wears a helmet on their bike, or well, they should do. Thank you. are right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. how do you clean your visor? Well, we've found a great little price on um, a website that sells lots and lots of stuff. It's called sportsbikeshop.co.uk. And we're not being sponsored by anybody in this video. This is just where we've picked up some stuff. We have some friends that, at Sports Bike Shop, but they're not sponsoring us. But for 10 quid, you can have some muck off visor cleaner and lens cleaner and it comes in a nice little kit so not only is it just a tiny little bottle that you give to somebody it's actually in a nice gift box and it comes with a visor cleaning cloth which is easy and you can zip it into the nice little package that it comes into and just pack it away and it's one of our things that we kind of take away with us unless of course you like furniture polish nothing wrong with pledge other propriety makes are available, but I use pledge. And Mr. Sheen. And Mr. Sheen? It cleans unclean things clean. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did it clean the mud off my elf shoes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the um, the visor cleaner is really good because it puts like that film over your visor, especially when you get flies and stuff, and it removes it really good, and especially with that cloth. So that is our number two in our top ten. So what's our number three? Three. I'm not putting any more fingers up because uh, my fingers don't work. Well, well, number, so, okay. number three. I'll number three. Number three is uh, it's an Oxford U lock and uh, a cable uh, shackle lock. Hmm. I read that obviously you can tell because it's up on the screen. It it's all scripted, not. It isn't. And um, these are really good, especially if you're you know leaving your, your bike in somewhere you don't necessarily want to have to leave it uh, with only just a, um, a steering lock on it. If you put a uh, cable. Uh, um, brake locks on, you know, brake disc locks and, and, a, and a chain, right? It's not about stopping somebody stealing your bike, because if they want it, they'll have it, but it makes it difficult for them. You know, if they've got a bike parked next to you that's got no but no locks on it, they'll steal that one because it's easy and they're, they're less exposed. That's like a criminal thing, that, isn't it? It is. Amazing. So, if you've got uh, one of these uh, U-lock things with an extended cable on it and things like that, you can actually shackle two bikes together, make it doubly um, uh, secure. And it's just, it's an easy thing to store in your 
pannier or your top box or and we did that soon. recently when we went to Birmingham for Motorcycle Live. We parked our bikes sort of facing each other and around the engine bars used the U-lock, and sometimes they call it a D-lock, to just shackle both of those bikes together. So it just made it more difficult if somebody wanted to nick it. Is that not confusing for dyslexic people, a U-lock and a D-lock? Well, it's the shape of the thing. I just say it's a U-lock or... Anyway, one of those lock things. Yeah, it's a big lock. Link in the description. As you've seen on our previous video, link up there somewhere, we fitted, <laughs> thanks Elf, we fitted a Denali Soundbar Mini. Now the reason that we've included that in our top 10 is because it's a really loud horn, not as loud as something you might see in a future top 10, or in our future oh, okay, top 10. Yeah, yeah. Um, however, it's a really good, easy fit horn for a bike, and we all know, and we, we slate loads of different manufacturers all the time. However, we've just ridden the BMW Bagger, and that was an amazing horn on it. Yeah, link up there somewhere. Yeah. That was really loud, wasn't it? You scared some small children and some yeah. birds, didn't you? Which is always good. Yeah, so we've added that one in there because it's a really easy fit. It's really cheap and it comes in at £24.79 on a Sports Bike Shop. So really e really good price point and it's, it's only like that big. So it fits into a stocking. It's a nice little present, something that will add to some safety and you can beef at people when they're getting in your way. Now we've also, um, just to let you know, we've looked at other websites and the prices are about the same. So the fact we've used this sports bike shop on a couple of these things is we've shopped around and it's just easy for us to make this video because the writing's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to do our next one? I'd love to. Yeah? So this is what? One, two, three, four, number five of our top ten. Five. That's the same one. No, it isn't. Oh. What's different about this one? Okay, it's 120 decibels. This is a Denali sound bomb, which is like the mini sound bomb plus a compressor. Um, on, I think, the Nippy Norman site, they have something similar mm. to it. See ya. Yeah, bye. <laughs> We're off. Keep talking. Okay. Um, but they do it in two pieces. They can order um, separate, uh, a single unit, which is what we've got here to show you. And um, I think they call it a Land Rover horn for some reason, but mm. it's, um, it's an amazing bit of kit and it is very, very loud. Very loud. And we like got a Blue Peter thing, that, isn't it? So, so look at that, read that and weep. We are going to be fitting that onto our bike, so watch out for previous, uh, watch out for later videos even. You don't know what you're saying, do you? I don't have a clue. Okay. I'm an elf. Okay. <laughs> I've had to learn this English stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so that video is coming very soon, but compact size horn, good price, it's under £39. And it will fit to a GS Adventure, and a GS yeah. fits up inside the uh, uh, suspension, front suspension. Yeah, just underneath handlebars. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Are you counting along here now? We're number four or five? We're number six. Really? Number six. Are you sure? Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Number six. Now, our number six, a must have with every motorcyclist out there, certainly if you're going to do tours like we do, um, is our Gear Gremlin tyre repair kit. That's what we've chosen as number six. That's under £20 at the moment. It might be because it's December, but it's under 20 quid. And there's a video somewhere, we'll link it there, of the <laughs> of the Gear Gremlin tyre repair kit, which yes, we've done it. previously. It's a tongue twister. Yeah, I'd just like to point out though that um, the Gear Gremlin comes with three gas cylinders in it, which may not fully inflate uh, mm. a, a, a large tyre if you want, so um, there might be a, a, an opportunity to look and see if you can buy extra gas canisters somewhere on the internet. Yeah, but it's, it's, you know, it's a handy little package, isn't it? It's great. And it just fits into a pannier, and you know that you've kind of got something to put a little bit of air back in if you have a problem, and you're not going to be stranded. Yeah. So, good good piece of kit. So what number is this? Is it good? Because we're saying it's good. It's always good. Oh, yeah. okay. What number is this then? I have no Mark? idea. Seven. Number seven on our list. Okay, this is a Scott Oiler Cramp Buster. Um, lots of bikes now have... Uh, um, Keep saying it, don't I? Yeah, you do. Right, okay. Scott Oil the Cramp Buster. Lots of bikes have cruise control, um, but for the bikes that... <laughs> I'm getting obsessed with it now. <laughs> the bikes that don't have the um, uh, cruise control, 
you need a way of uh, just resting your hands and um, <laughs> resting your hands and just taking the pressure off your right hand for a while. And the Scott Oiler Cramp Buster, other makes are available, they're, they've got lots of different names for them. Basically, it's just a piece of plastic that's rolled onto your accelerator, um, accelerator doobry, what do they call it? Throttle, throttle, your throttle thing. And you can just rest your hand on it and keep it at a constant speed on it. I don't have one because um, I have um, grip buddies on my on my thing to take just to relax my hands a little bit. Toby has one of these, even though he's got cruise control. Yeah. He's got all the just, gadgets, just all the bits, and uh, it works very well. It takes a bit of getting used to, I must admit. But once you've got it, like, all right. I'm very slow, so and I'm very concerned about my hat falling off. Well, it's still on. But there you go, seven pound forty nine. We found them for, but I know you can get them for cheaper than that. You can pay more for it, so pay whatever you want. Can anybody tell us down in the comments below how many times we've said um? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, love it. <laughs> so moving on. Oh, that's seven forty nine. That I did that. Yeah, it's not the time. That. That's the price. Yeah. Right. Okay. But you can get cheaper ones. You can get cheaper ones off eBay and other places. But this um, Scotland is really good. You're not listening to me. I said that, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, I am. Yeah, you are. Pin locker here, plugs. Pin no locker. way. That's how it, number eight. <laughs> yeah. Yes way. <laughs> Mind you, with these suits, with these ears, with these massive pin locks. How's it going to fit on your helmet? Well, I was thinking about sticking that on top of my helmet. Right, okay. Okay. This might be going off the air soon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Pinlock earplugs, you can pay lots of prices. We've done a video on it again, on different um, things that we use. Toby completely changed his opinion of uh, Pinlock earplugs or Alpine earplugs, whatever you want, motor safe ones. There's lots of different makes. Um, and he went away from the squidgy, spongy things you shove in your ear to these. I can't believe people ride a bike without um, using earplugs. And I met somebody the other week who, who didn't have, have them in and he's clearly going deaf. But you know, personal choices, I suppose. These are really comfortable, really soft, and at 17.99, they're not going to break the bank. Good for about six months to eight months, mm -hmm. I think. You know, constant. I use mine for six, six to eight months constantly, and I'm out on my bike pretty much every day. And then I just get a new pair. And they're easy to wash, aren't they? They're they just are, yeah. silicon, aren't they? Don't put them in your mouth and clean them like that. I've seen people do that. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. So that was it. Pinlock earplugs. Yeah, definitely buy. And they, again, they come in a tiny little box. Oh, the pin lock. You get one, an extra present. Well, the pin lock one is really weird. It comes in a wedge shaped box, which you'll see a picture now. And in there, they put a place for a credit card. It's really strange. It's a really strange thing. I just chucked mine away. Not the credit card, but the, <laughs> but the little wedge shaped pocket that it came with. But they're really good. Number nine. I couldn't be an elf, you know. I'm absolutely sweating cobs in this. I know, and I feel underdressed without my fluorescent jacket on. <laughs> there we go. It's all about health and safety. Well, I do like these bells. They add to the Christmassy feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dog is a little bit concerned about them. <laughs> right, our number nine, and a kind of a must for any tourer. Um, that I'm saying I'm now. It's affecting me, Mark. It's so, rock straps, number nine. We've picked these rock straps purely because they're so versatile, they're really stretchy and you can hold so much. If you see some videos about them and different reviews, they're literally holding on stacks of wood on motorbikes, a whole host of different things that you would Wood on imagine. motorbikes? Logging yeah, bikes? It was amazing. But wow. hey, we could start a new channel about how to log on your motorbike. <laughs> but they're logging? <laughs> logging sites in Cornwall. <laughs> But they're really, really good. They're quite versatile. They've got loops on both ends and they clip with one of those black um, clip fasteners like you have on backpacks and stuff. They're rated to certain weights and that sort of stuff, but they are stretchy. They come in different lengths and we've picked the 12 to 42, I think that's inches, yeah, inches, um, because that's more versatile for the bikes that we've got. You can get tiny, thin ones for bicycles. I have got a couple of those that I use to attach some small stuff, but if you really want it to be sturdy when it's on your bike, the rock straps are a must because you can put them on and then you can ratchet them down and they just it's a piece hold. Of, it's a piece of um, uh, <laughs> stop saying them. It's a piece of strapping that three foots itself 
and then there's a bit of a, of a um, elasticated bungee if you want that does to the other side and that's how that's how it works i actually kayak um use them on, on my car for strapping kayaks down um that's how stop saying no and you haven't done any videos on kayaking or say no we could we could rock strap our gs's to your kayak could do. That'd be a garbage video, wouldn't it? <laughs> <That's very long. laughs> yeah. But I'd like to be able to strap my surfboard to my bike. That'd be good. Oh yeah, that would be good. Yeah. But they're twelve ninety nine at the moment with free UK delivery from Amazon. So that's a real good buy. And again, it's something that you don't only have to use for your motorbike. You can use around the house, on the car, a whole host of things. But use around the house. Well, you might get back into logging again. You might need to strap the boiler together or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, brings us to our number 10. Is it 10? Yeah, number 10. 10 already. 10 already. Um, and this is really quite an important thing, isn't it? I it, think so. It really is to your comfort and well-being on your motorbike. So, it is at Audi, surprisingly enough, because Audi sells some really great stuff. They really do. But they're selling the Crane Men's Thermal Base Layers, both top and bottom, and they're polyester, they're $9.99, would you believe? My wife just bought some merino wool ones there. there so that's 10. That's Aldi, is it? That is an Aldi. $9.99. Yeah, so get them quick. We'll put the link up there, but it's highly likely that they'll be probably sold out by the time that you look at it because they just have such great kit for motorbikes. But it's one of those things that it's almost like a pop-up shop in a shop, mm -hmm. isn't it? You really need to be there really quick. So that's the end of our top 10 already. Obviously, this is just what we've we've sourced really, really quickly, but there's loads of stuff to buy. So make sure your partner or whoever is going to buy you big presents has access to this video before Christmas, obviously. Or just tactfully leave them a list written down by the bedside or in the car on the dashboard or on your motorbike on the dashboard or in the garage or anywhere that they might well be or in the toilet. Can I just say as an aside, these elf costumes are from the range and they were about four quid. <laughs> I feel kind of self-conscious with this massive thing stuck on my head. Yeah, that'll be a helmet. You can like whack each other. <laughs> it's like a helmet thing. <laughs> so we're going to um, go off and do some other elf based stuff. Got some presents to wrap. Yeah, all these top ten. That's why they're sold out because we bought them all. Yeah. <laughs> So if you like the video, give it a massive thumbs up, it really does help us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button which will be there somewhere. Click the bell so that you know when we our next video comes out. And I guess all that's left to say is... What are these bells? Well yeah, it does make kind of the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, be a Merry Christmas thing yeah. there, won't it? Have a great Christmas. Enjoy it. But come back and see us in the new year or through the Christmas period when we will be releasing more videos. Wow. See you in a bit. See ya.